I'm Danika Gofton. I'm Jemina. I'm Elena Hartwig. And I'm Paige Morgan. And what's your project? Our project is the Travel Safe app campaign for making public transport safer on the Gold Coast. Um, so the Travel Safe app is in conjunction with TransLink and the Queensland Police Service as well as the Gold Coast City Council for now. Um, I will state it is a prototype app at the moment with possible further updates as well along the line. Um, so the application allows um, TransLink customers to report crime anonymously and also in real time. So if something is happening in front of someone, they are able to report the crime and if it needs further assistance, it can then, it gets dispatched to whichever authorities need to know if it's an emergency straight away. So we've developed a prototype of like a video of our app and we've also developed a prototype app on our phone that you can have a look at as well and play around with. So with each of the screens as well, so with the, like the child concession adult senior, each of them will have a different screen so like the child and senior ones will be a little bit more simpler okay. um, and with less like buttons and information on them so then it's a little bit easier for them to use and then with each of the things that you need that you want to report will then go to a different like whoever it is that, that would deal with that. that would deal with that sort of situation so for example if there was like a physical abuse or someone was being assaulted it would then be dispatched to the Queensland police and then they would be dispatched out to the where you are and it then goes off your location services as well so it's GPS GPS tracking um, and it will then follow your phone to wherever the location of the incident is as well um, also our justification for the solution so we had to look at several different aspects of who this was going to actually be helping um, so we kind of looked towards it's more of a deterrent so it's kind of a general deterrent having um, a discrete app that anyone can use anyone could be using it on public transport you don't actually know who it is because that was a big issue with public transport crime. Um, people felt like they weren't being held accountable. There's like low risk, high reward kind of situation. So this kind of creates a you don't know who's watching, big brother kind of situation. So anybody could have the app um, on their phone. And then it also, doing that, it creates this natural surveillance as well on the public transport networks, making it feel a bit more safe, a bit more community development based. So everyone's taking accountability for their own safety. More so rather than just relying on police to come in and like patrol the areas, they can actually be alerted to where the problems are. And it also creates more crime data. So we'll have more statistical data to use in further research. It's gone beyond crime, right? Because not all of these things are necessarily criminal. Yeah. It's not criminal, but it does yeah. make the space uncomfortable yeah. Yeah. for people who are there. And that's what we had to address as well. Like a lot of people don't know what who to report what to. So um, it gives people the option, like, what do you want to report? They can select, because if they're not sure whether they should be reporting it or not, some people don't want to get in trouble for calling police and they shouldn't be calling police. So it kind of gives them a guideline of what they can report. Obviously, if it's something that's not on there, then it's probably not, you know, able to report yeah, it. Yeah, it was, does not get reported. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we were just, yeah, we were just finding that there was kind of a grey area for the customers when it came to behaviour that wasn't necessarily criminal, but was affecting the other passengers on the train, that they could then also report that to TransLink themselves, not necessarily the police. So it kind of can, it's like the do everything app that houses criminal things that you need emergency services straight away. And also you might just need to report to TransLink that there has been graffiti just tagged on the wall and that sort of thing.